everyone. How are you doing today? Really, how are you? We are almost done my inventory series for 2024, thank goodness. I don't know when I'm going to get around to single eyeshadows. I'm trying my best here. However, I am going to have a puppy coming into my life very shortly. Uh, you might be able to see some toys and stuff in the background. I'm excited. I really, really am. So that's going to be a new addition to my life very shortly. And I don't know if, when I'm going to have time to do single shadows or honestly, if anyone's really that adamant about seeing what I have for single shadows. So I was able to get lips done today. What does that include? Lip gloss and care is all together and then lip pencils and then lipsticks, liquid, bullet, whatever the case may be, those are all together as well. So all three categories are in this video. I am excited. It took a very, very long time, but let's just get down to it. Let's see what I got. Okay, as always, we are doing this in alphabetical order just based on how my list is set up. So let's start with my Shop Miss A at the top here. This is the Sweet Pout Sugar Lip Scrub in the coffee flavor. The Jelly Jam Lip Mask in Honey. I've got a couple of the Big Boss Balms in Raspberry. I accidentally got two of the same flavor, and I'm totally fine with that because I do go through those. This is the Lip Oil Gloss in Coconut. I'm about halfway done that. And then over here, I have the Balm in Apple. It is for skin and lips, but I generally just use it on my lips. I have gone through a couple of these. Moving on down here, I've got some Bite Beauty. This is the lip gloss in the shade Opal. This is the lip gloss in the shade Bellini. Moving over to Buxom Cosmetics, I have Yoohoo. I have a Dolly Duo here. This is my one lonely Clinique lip glossy balmy type of product. This is the Chubby Stick in the shade Mega Melon. I've got some Dior lip glosses over here. This is 853, 765, and 642. These are all in the Dior Addict formulation. Okie doke, moving right along here. These are my Estee Lauder Courage Ultra Pink glosses. I do have two of these. This one is totally untouched. The other one is the one that I am currently using. Woo! This is the Estee Edit lip gloss in the flash photo. It was supposed to make your teeth look whiter. I've never actually tested that and it is quite old. Maybe I'll play with it and see what happens. Uh, it might be time for that to go. We'll see. These are my two Guerlain Kiss Kiss Lip Lifts. They are just essentially lip primers. Over here are my Guerlain Lip Glosses. So I do have the shade 463. I have 401, 467, and 460. Those are some of my favorite formulations, but they are so, so expensive. So I'm just going to use those up. And once I finish some of those, maybe I'll look at getting some new ones. Moving down here, this is the Hello Kitty Strawberry Pink Lip Gloss, Honey Bee Fruit Lip Saver in Orange, the Comey Hydrating Lip Serum. I got this from Winners and it is weird. It is very thin and I don't find that it really absorbs into the lips, but it's not super old, so I'm just trying to use it up. This is my Lancome Juicy Tube in Simmer. It is incredibly old, but I love it. It smells so good still. I love this formulation. Moving over to my Lottie London lip glosses, I have extra cherries in the oil slick formulation. I have the shimmer lip glaze in Be Proud and the twisted heart in Love Glaze. Okay, this is my Lonely Makeup Forever lip gloss. This is in the shade 500. I used to have two of the same color. One I did give to someone else because I don't know why I need two purple lip glosses. Moving over to my Makeup Revolution glosses, I have Toffee, Marshmallow, Praline, Raspberry, Salted Caramel, and Chocolate Cherry. Those all have quite a bit of use on them. I do have a couple lip masks here. I have Kang and Kodos. My Kang one is almost empty. Thank goodness. So I will be moving on to Kodos after that. And then I do have a chocolate lip mask as well, which is not even opened. 
Moving down here, I have a Marc Jacobs lip gloss. This is just in the clear. This is in shiny. Model Co. and Carl Lagerfeld collaboration here in Kiss Me Carl. Morphe and Maddie Ziegler collaboration here. Uh, this is in the shade Butterfly Kiss. And then I do have my NARS satin lip pencils, which are more of a glossy sheer formula, which is why they're in this category here. So I do have Tor Tordo Pain, which needs a good cleaning. I have You. I have Rikugian over here. And then this is just the Laguna Afterglow Balm. I think this was a Sephora birthday gift one year. Not even touched yet. But I do go through balms fairly quickly, so I have no worries with that. Okie doke, this is the last of my what I call lip gloss and care category. These, uh, you can tell how old they are just by the brand. These are Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. These are two of the stained gloss. I think I decluttered all the other Obsessive Compul Compulsive Cosmetics out of my collection, but these, I don't know, I just... The colors are kind of unique to my collection, so I haven't been able to declutter them, but it's got to come soon because these are really, really old and I'm sure they are turning. This is in the shade New Wave. And this one here is in Androgyny. And I just love these. I just, I love the formulation of those. I am so sad that OCC went out of business. They're so unique. Over here, I have my Pat McGrath Labs lip gloss in the shade Dare to Bear. Sephora lip gloss in Maggie. This is a Sephora Rouge Infusion in the shade Peony. It is old, but it is still sealed, which probably says I should have gave it to someone eight years ago. But now it's too old for me to give away, so I'm just going to see if it's still usable. Let's move over to my Stila lip glazes, of which I have... Oh, too many. Too, too many. I have Glamour, Kaleidoscope, Glitter, Melon, Strawberry Cream, Glory, Wildberry. Moving around down here, I have Glow, Persimmon, Cranberry, and Dazzleberry. Oh, wait, hold on. I screwed up. This is... What are you? Where are we at here? This is Gleam. Gleam. Glint and Dazzleberry. I thought it ended over here. I didn't realize I still had some more to go over here. So, yes, I need to try and use up some of those this year. They are getting there. There are quite a few that are very close. So I'm hoping to finish up some in 2024 because they're old. And uh, I don't even think they make those anymore. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Balm in the shade Bloom. Bloom. I don't actually have that written down on my tracker because I only have one of these, so I should probably write down the shade. This is the Urban Decay Revolution Lip Gloss in the shade Bittersweet. Again, another bright purple lip gloss that I barely use. Over here, I have the Yves Saint Laurent Golden Gloss in the shade 40, and I have two of the Beauty Plump Up. So these are just plumping lip glosses. They are clear and this one here has a lot of use on him, so I'm hoping to get these out of my collection this year or next as well. Okie doke. These are all of my lip liners. I actually do use lip liner every day that I get ready, so a lot of these are teeny tiny at this point, and I'll be able to use them up and get them out of my collection. The ColourPop ones all came as a giant set that I got together, so... Uh, these are things that will be able to be used organically, which is always exciting. Let's start up here. These are my Annabelle lip liners. I have Cherry, Blush, Havane, Sparkle. This one, sorry. They're too close together. This one here is Havane. This one here is Sparkle. This one here is Demure, which is almost done. And Natural Rose and Berry Bijou, which is also almost finished. This is my Shop Miss A AOA Studio Lip Liner in Rodeo. We've got a couple Avon liners here. So this is Deep Plum, Shimmer Mauve, and Wildberry. A couple stragglers for the Ben Nye Lip Liners that I've had for 13 years. Yep, this is Rosewood, Really Red, and Vino. 
Over here, I've got a couple Bourjois Paris lip liners. This one here is Chocolate Chip and Show Comme le Frais. Clinique lip liner in Intense Hibiscus. I don't know if I've ever used that, I'll be honest. Very pink. And then on to my ColourPop, this one here is So Happy, Field Day, BFF, Oh Snap, Good and Plenty, Bumble, Dopey, I Heart This, the bright pink one, which I didn't even know I had. I've never used. It is very, very pink. This one here is Bossy, Hoopty, Bichette, and Ellery. And then down here, I have my Stila lip liner in Obsessed. Now over here, I kept these separate because they are all clear lip liners, however you want to categorize those. This is the Makeup Forever Lip Liner Perfector. Uh, not even opened. Very old, but not opened. <laughs> As you can tell, these are not what I gravitate towards. Uh, this is my Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics in Anti-Feathered. I have actually used this one recently, and it's still fine. This is my Bite Beauty uh, Blanc Ooh. lip. So it's like a white base. And then this is my No Bleeding Lips from No Cosmetics. So they're all kind of like just liners that you'd use before putting on an actual lip. And that's kind of why I have them separate. But I don't use a product like this very often. This is definitely discontinued. This is discontinued. I'm not 100% sure about these two. These brands don't even exist anymore. These ones I think do. Well, Makeup Forever does for sure. But I'm not 100% sure about No Cosmetics. And uh, yeah, they're all very old and not used enough, so I'm hoping to get some more use out of them this year. Okay, let's move on to lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, bullet lipsticks. These are all kind of in one category here, and I'm not really sure what my game plan is because a lot of them you cannot see what the color is, but let's just get started here. This is my About Face Painted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Last Goodnight. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette, which is well-loved. It's getting there. Over here, I've got a couple Shop Miss A products. This is the Wonder Metal in the shade Sleek. Wonder Matte in the shade Cashmere. And then I've got the Velvet Lips in Harper and in Reese. Over here, I've got a couple Arbonne lipsticks. This is in Candy and Runway Rouge. Down here, Ardency In. This is Black is Blue. I have a lot of fun colors that catch my attention, but then I don't really use that often, but it's nice to have them. Moving over to my Bite lipsticks that I still have. This is Mocha. And I've got Warmed Maple. Molasses and Movember. This little one here is the Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk Medium. I believe this was like a birthday present last year. This is a Clinique lipstick in the shade Ambrosia. I loved this color and had to pick it up, but then don't use it that often, but it is so pretty. This one here is Sweet Pop. And then I've got my Color Pop Fresh Kiss lipsticks. This is in Speak Easy and Brandy. Okay, moving right along, I have CoverGirl Coffee Crave. Dior Rouge 775, Dior Addict 754. These are the liquid lipsticks, not the glosses. This is Essence Time for a Toffee Break. This one here is Estee Edit, and it was a really interesting idea, if I can open it, because it is black, and as you can tell, untouched. Now, the point of these was not that it was a black lipstick, is that it would darken any shade that you had and essentially make your own colors with it. Now I do that a lot with my Anastasia lip palette as well, uh, but this is kind of interesting and the fact that it is still fresh 
but old enough that I wouldn't want to give it to anyone else. Maybe I'll test it, play with it, and see what happens. This is Estee Lauder Empowered. Just a bright red. Estee Lauder Fragile Ego. This one here is Givenchy in Rose Dressing. Just a nice, beautiful nude. This is Guerlain. This thing weighs about three pounds. It is so heavy. This is Rouge in the shade 71. So it's beautiful. It was custom for me. I got to order it. Uh, it's just, these are so heavy. They're cool because they come with like a mirror, but they're so heavy. This is the Kiss Kiss Lip Lip Lift It. Lip, lip, that's a mouthful. Kiss Kiss Lip Lift Lipstick in the shade Romantic Kiss. One of my favorites, as you can tell, I've actually used a ton of that one. There's not a lot left. Moving down here, I have uh, a brand called Jackie and Lauren. These were the aphorism liquid lipsticks. They came in a set of six, I believe, but I actually used up the other five or they just got to the point where they had dried out. I'm not really sure. They weren't super old, so I think I just used them up. This is the last one here that I have. They did not have individual names, so I'm just calling it the aphorism lipstick. These are my Carmella Cosmetics lipsticks. They have changed the brand name to Defiance Beauty now, but same brand. This is in the shade High Vibe. This one here is Radiance. And this one here is Aura. They are so pretty, and yes, they have other colors on them because I mix and match, but beautiful, beautiful shades. This is my Kiss New York Pro Liquid Lipstick in the shade Vampire. This one here is in the shade Gossip. A couple of my KVD Liquid Lipsticks. I have Outlaw. This is Lolita 2 and Lovesick. Okay, these are a couple brands that I have quite a few from. I am not going to open the KVD ones. Uh, you can kind of get an idea of what the colors are from the bottom here. So we're just going to start up here. This is La Femme, OG Lolita, Wonder Child, Hexagram, Countess, Sexer, and Bachelorette. Over here, this is a Lancome lipstick in the shade Love It. I have actually got quite a bit of use on that one so far. This one is quite a bit newer to my collection. This is another Lancome in the shade, what are you in? Where are you? 274. I have not used this one at all. <laughs> Oops. But it is fairly new. This is my Laura Mercier liquid lipstick in Rosewood. I use this all the time, so it has to be almost empty. This is my last Lime Crime lipstick, liquid lipstick. I used to have about six of these, but I either used them up or they had gone off or I had just decluttered them. This is in the shade Saint. My couple of Lottie London liquid lipsticks. I have the Stay All Day liquid lipstick in the shade Fleek and the Cheeky Kiss in the shade Just My Type. I only have a couple MAC lipsticks left. This is from the Maleficent collection. This is True Love's Kiss. And this one is Goddess of the Sea. Quite a bit of makeup forever. I am again not just going to open these. You can kind of see what shade they are on the bottom. 52, 21, 42, 42, yes, I have two of them, I don't know why, N45, and 36. So they are just numbered, and uh, mostly reds. This one's a bit more of a pink. This one here I remember picking up specifically because I just adored the red with sparkle. It's almost, it's so Christmassy, and I love, love this shade. I just need to wear it more often. And then up here, I just have the Makeup Forever, the Pro Sculpting Lip in the shade 10. On one end is the lipstick. Whoop. And then on the other, it has just like a bit of a sparkle. So it's in the lid and you just kind of tap it on to add a little bit more dimension. It's kind of interesting. I don't think they make this anymore, but it was fun when they had it. 
Okay, let's move on here. I only have one Makeup Revolution liquid lipstick or a lipstick at all, and that is absolutely bonkers to me because I have so much Revolution in my collection. This is in the shade Peach Charming. This is Marc Jacobs in Dashing. I've got a few NARS pencils. These are both in Cruella. I don't know how I end up but with two of everything. This is uh, Mikio. It is a very hot pink. And then this one here is in Iberico. I don't think I've ever used this one because it's a bright orange, which I do like. I just forget about. Moving over to my NYX uh, Mostly Liquid Suede's. These are ones that caught my eye. I really love the ideas of these colors, but again, I don't use them that much. They just kind of stare around in case I decide I want to play a little more, and I'm totally fine with that. So I've got Brooklyn Thorn, Subversive Socialite, Electromagnetic, Morocco, Stone Fox, Sway, and then down here I have Respect the Pink, and Oh Put It On. This is my Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar in Techno Pagan. This was so revolutionary when it came out that I don't have the heart to declutter it. I don't really use it anymore, but I just, I adore the color so much. It was so unique for its time, so it just kind of stays around. This is my Rose Ink Lipstick in Abstraction. Down here, uh, I've got some Sephora collection. This is the really red cream lip stain, and I think this is the second one I've had. I've actually fully gone through one of these because they stay on beautifully. They're not drying, and I do really like these. This one here is the Luster Matte in Scarlet Letter. Sorry, Scarlet Luster. This is the Lip Powder in Rethink Pink. And then these are my newer... Sephora Collection lipsticks. This is Creme Brulee. Oop. This one here is Mocha. And then this is the Clean Lip Mousse in the shade Pine. Okay, we're going to try and shove the rest of them into this last one here. We're going to see what we can do here. These are all my She Glam liquid lipsticks. These Wretched Romance ones all came from a Halloween set a couple of years ago. Not incredibly old, but I do really like them. This is Mummy Dearest, Creep It Real, Sorceress, Bloody Mary, and Underworld. Over here I have Vetiver, Naked Brunch, Cosmopolitan, Musing, Damsel, and now I have no idea how this happened, but I have two of these. These are Lift Off, two of these, these are Sweet Poison, and two of these ones, which are Bougie. No idea how I got a bunch of duplicates. This one here is Vintage. Moving over to Smashbox, I have... Wow, that did not want to open Infrared. And then a couple of their liquid lipsticks, I have... Rose water, and then yep, two two of these. These are in coral. Again, I don't know how that kept happening. Over here, I've got tart. This is what are you timeless? And this one here is home slice in the liquid lipstick. This is my Trustique pencil in Florence Fig, and then I do have my Urban Decay lipsticks over here. I think they're all different formulations. So this is in Matte Temper. This one here is the Naked Lipstick, and I use this all the time. I'm actually wearing this today. Love it. And I've got a couple purples, because for some reason purple keeps ending up in my collection. This is Matte Bittersweet, which I am not very good at this camera work today. I am sorry. And this one is from the Gwen Stefani collection. This is in Firebird. And I only have a couple left down here, so I might as well just bring them out here. These are my Yves Saint Laurent liquid lipsticks. This one here is the Vernet Elive in the shade 45. I'm probably absolutely butchering that, but it's just a red liquid lipstick that has got a lot of use on it. A lot of windowing happening there. 
And then I have my three Kiss and Blush Baby Doll liquid lipsticks slash blushes. I do really, really like these. They still smell so, so good. So I've got number two, number five, and number six. So they are actually all different, which is surprising. And that is all the lipsticks. All right, so even though the video is not incredibly long, I think it took me two, two and a half hours to get this all filmed. So I'm tired. I don't have it in me to do the last one today. Um, I wish I did. I really do. It's just, I can't do it today. It's, I'm, I'm tired. It's a lot of work. <laughs> all the respect to the ladies who are doing this incredibly often. Ladies, gentlemen, whomever. All the respect to you because this is very time consuming and just your whole day pretty much. So let me know what you think. Let me know if uh, anyone is really looking forward to my single shadows. That will be the last one when I get there. So it's going to be uh, mascara, setting sprays, and single shadows. And those are my last three categories. They will all be meshed into one video if you are all here for it. Let me know because I know it's going to take a long time simply due to the fact that I organize everything and I do it alphabetically, which means I have to dig through everything and alphabetize them, organize them, get them ready, and then film. And it's, it's a whole process. So let me know. Otherwise, I might just let that one slide. We'll see. But I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, evening, journey, and I'll see you then.